For 60 years, the United Nations has held congresses to strengthen international cooperation in support of criminal justice and against the global threat of crime. The first congress held in Geneva in 1955 adopted the standard minimum rules for the treatment of prisoners. In London, the Second Congress made recommendations on special police services for juvenile justice. Prevention of criminality was the main theme of the Third Congress in Stockholm. The Fourth Congress, held in Japan, was the first to hold preparatory meetings and the first to adopt a declaration. The 1975 Congress discussed organised crime and made recommendations on protecting people from torture and other cruel or degrading treatment or punishment. The Sixth Congress called for the development of alternatives to imprisonment and was the first Congress to address the specific needs of women prisoners. The 7th Congress adopted the Milan Plan of Action, which drew attention to crime as a global concern, hampering economic and social development and threatening human rights and security. The Havana Congress focused on the prevention and control of organised crime and terrorism. Cairo was the venue for the 1995 Congress, which considered practical technical assistance for strengthening the rule of law. The Vienna Congress welcomed the new millennium by highlighting the crime and justice challenges of the 21st century. The declaration of the 11th Congress in Bangkok laid the foundation for strengthening international cooperation efforts and considered the threat of corruption. The 12th Congress emphasised criminal justice reform and explored ways of preventing and controlling emerging forms of crime worldwide, such as cybercrime. And now, 60 years later, the tradition continues with the Government of Qatar hosting the 13th United Nations Crime Congress. The nexus between crime and development will be the focus the Congress will consider new forms of international cooperation and public participation through the discussions in Doha.